So today we want to take a look at how do we add a custom app that's been pre-built to our custom ROM. You know, you notice a lot of ROMs come out, they have other apps in them than originally would have been there. So this is pretty handy. Uh, you can jump over to my website, uh, theelasticalinstitute.com or theelasticalinstitute.wordpress.com. You see I have some homemade apps here. I'm just going to grab one of these uh, for use. Um, you know, I've made several. They're not really that great. Um, you're welcome to check them out sometimes if you'd like. A lot of them are just actually they serve a purpose and do something, um, like the real demon control, uh, the KPPD control, something like that. Um, but we're just going to add something fun. Uh, we're going to add uh, critical velocity to our um, to our custom ROM. So it's just a side-scrolling arcade game that I built. Uh, it's kind of like Flappy Bird in space. So the big thing is, however you get it, you got to download the, the app that you want, or if you built it yourself, you can have it available. Um, but you need that APK file. Um, once you have that APK file, here we can see it in our download, uh, you can leave the original name, but I recommend to name it something a little simpler so you can work with it easier. So crit bell is a good way to go. It's not actually going to change the actual name of the displayed app uh, in your in your phone. It's just just changing the name of the file that you're using. So if we want to put it, say, um, in our uh, JF common folder. Here we have for our Samsung Galaxy S4 the, the common folder, and we have this pre-built folder. If you don't have a pre-built folder, you can make one. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we can see here, here's one again in the TBLTE common pre-built folder. We open that up. So it's common uh, folder there and this android.make file. <coughs> Um, so, for instance, if you if you want to put one into another uh, another device that doesn't have one, you could just uh, copy and paste one from something else. Uh, you know, you could always grab them from my uh, repositories online or whatever. If you don't want to type out all the syntax yourself. But so you have this common folder, and then you have this app folder. So we're going to put that critical velocity app into the app folder of this pre-built common app folder. And then we go to our android.make file that's in our pre-built pre -built folder. And we're going to make a few changes here. We're going to add, now in the past, you see I, I had actually some other app that I was adding as pre-built. Um, so essentially, what you want uh, is to, if you're working with a file that already exists, you can copy and paste. Uh, we're just going to remove that because the only pre-built app we have in here is the critical velocity app we just added. So the local module is going to be the name that you put on that app. So we did crit bell. Notice I'm not putting the APK here. Uh, the owner is going to be uh, the name of the, the main name of the ROM. So in this case, it's PAC. Uh, you saw before it was AOKP, um, you know, SLIM for SLIM ROM. Uh, that'll be kind of dependent on the ROM that you're building. And then uh, you see here that the suffix is APK. So it knows that it is that um, app. So then, once you have it in the pre-built folder and you have that Android Make file ready and saved, you can go to your common or your full or whichever uh, Make file that really that you want. But typically, you do this in like the device or the common .make file. So here at the bottom, we can actually um, add some extra lines here. So we're going to call this the uh, just pre-built. Um, 
notice these uh, pound sign just makes it a comment. It's not actually uh, doing anything, just, uh, just a comment for you to read. So we have our product underscore packages uh, plus equal. So we're going to add to the product packages that we have. We're doing a backslash to say next line. And we're going to just say uh, crit bell. And there we go. So we save this. You know, it, it's just literally the name of more of whatever you want. You know, we could put whatever we want, name of more stuff. We could do these backslash lines and do this a thousand times in a row. Um, but we, when you're done, the last one does not have a backslash line. So if we save this, uh, this actually, um, now when it builds, we'll try to look for this crit bell package. And it's like, well, where's this crit bell package? And we'll read that android.make for the pre-built and say, oh, I've got a crit bell package. And then it will add that to our build. So that's how you add a prepackaged, um, pre-built APK to your custom ROM pretty simple. Uh, you can make as many of these blocks as you want of these include blocks and add as many as you want to that common file to add as many um, different pre-built APKs as you need. So then of course you would just go back to your um, build directory, you uh, set up your environment setup and run your script again and now it's going to look through and say, hey, do I have everything built for this uh, this particular ROM? And it's going to go through and say, oh, I need to add this package to the build. And it's going to do that for you.